Welcome to Brian Beeler's Round Em Up. It's going to be November 28th. Thanksgiving Day Marathon. For sale over 30 different 1967 to 1973 Pontiac Firebird. The search request comes from multiple subscribers to our channel. And like these subscribers, if there's a classic car you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe, drop in the comments below the make and model, and I will round them up for you. Thanks for tuning in. First time viewers, you heard that correctly. We're looking for cars that are currently listed for sale for our subscribers. This one you see right here is not going to be the only car we show for sale, but that's the one I would go check out if I was looking to buy a 67 through 73 Pontiac Firebird. Let's get on to our search. It's going to be Facebook, Marketplace, and Craigslist. I don't own any of the cars, but I have put them in price order from lowest to highest. Very first one. 1973 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D, two grand, two weeks ago, Iowa. That's how we're going to kick the episode off with two grand. Subframes pulled out, the rear ends ripped out. Says clean title in his name. Comes with two new rear frame rails. Man, that thing looks like scrap. Want to put a lot of work into fixing one? Two grand. That's how we're kicking this episode off for a 73. It'll be a 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D, 2,941 weeks ago, PA. It's a 69, you gotta dig that. 41 weeks it's been on here, so it has to be overpriced, right? 69 Firebird without a title. So no title with it, and he wants $2,900. A 1967 Firebird chassis, three grand, posted in Dago, California. Can't get there fast enough. This car looks actually solid. Like the rear end didn't rip out from the frame rails being rotted. Classic 67 Firebird needs someone to take her time to build a dream car. Got a 455 motor for additional money. And please message if you're interested. Serious buyers only. I don't know. He didn't show them frame rails. They actually could be rotted out on the back of that. The body does look really good shape. Three grand a day ago. Check that one out. Gonna be our first Craigslist ad, 1967 Pontiac Firebird Convertible. 3,500 bucks, been here for two weeks in Maine. So Craigslist is how you find it, 67 Convertible, very rough. We'll make a great winter project. It's gonna take a couple winters to fix this one. That 3,500 bucks in there, I almost thought it was a Camaro, but again, if that was a Camaro Convertible, it'd probably be like 7,500, 8,500, right? I don't know, you tell me. Does have a clean title. It's in Maine for a convertible. 1972 Pontiac Firebird Formula 350, 3,500 bucks. Posted three days ago in Illinois. This is almost a pick. Absolutely beautiful dog. This is almost a pick. That front clip right there. But then he mentions he'd like to keep the front clip. And then he shows you that other rusted car. So I don't know what you're getting here. You have to read him out, contact him, hit him up. It's been posted only for three days. Don't say it has a title. But if he keeps the front clip off that yellow one, man, it's not nothing left worth anything. 1969 Pontiac Firebird. 3500 bucks. 48 weeks they haven't been able to sell this one. So it's got some uh, garden hose clear on there. Looks like he just pressure washed it all off. Sure enough. You got some Arrest Me Resale Red. 48 weeks in Georgia they haven't been able to sell that. That's been posted a long time. No motor, no transmission, and no title. Can't make that up. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D, 3500. 19 weeks ago, Georgia. Man, I think I showed this car over a year ago. Does say only 19 weeks, so he's reposted it. And it's got a video. I don't think there's any audio. It's just a walk around. Again, I've showed this car before. Needs trunk pan. Needs almost everything. $3,500. V8 car originally. I love the color green that it was too. And it's got a clean Georgia title. That's a rare sight. Give me 1972 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D. 3500 26 weeks ago. It's in Indiana. It's got really bad photos that need to be edited and cropped off before you upload photos like that. It'd be as big as the blurry one in the background. I usually mention it every time we see these little photos. I'm on a computer, but I can't imagine if you was on your phone trying to look at this car in the photos. It does have a lot of photos, which is excellent, but man, they're terrible. 
26 weeks ago, so that's probably why. 72. The clean title. No motor, no transmission for it either, though. 26 weeks that one's been on here. Pontiac Firebird, 1969. Ty's got it posted up. And he's dropped the price from 7500 to 3500 bucks. Been on here for 13 weeks. I like the Kragers are on there. Look like some new tires. And it don't look that bad of shape. Got a video of it running. The smoke is some oil they spilled. Title in hand. Heat number one. Sounds like a derby car, right? First running car. I don't know. Could be here. 13 weeks ago, Mississippi. Got all kinds of smoke pouring out of that thing. On to another. It's going to be back to Craigslist. 1967 Pontiac Firebird Convertible. $3,900. I think I've showed this car in the past before, too. It was some kind of dealership or something, wasn't it? It's going to be Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's in a dealership. Got to pay tax title and all that stuff. It wants $3,900 for this ragtop. I guess the rear end's rotted through. She's got a block sitting right here so it isn't sitting with the rear end up inside it. That'd be what I would guess. 1968 Firebird, 4300 on the money. Listed four weeks ago, Oklahoma. Since all tore apart, I usually say don't rip them apart like this and try to get paid. But man, I don't know if he's trying to get paid. It's $4,300. Scattered all over the garage. No suspension or nothing in it. So good luck moving it. They got the whole back half of this thing cut off. Man, that thing's going to be a chore to try to get on and off a trailer. 1970 Firebird slash 1972 parts car. $4,500. bucks. we are on Craigslist. It's going to be in Idaho. Got an aluminum slot on the front. No engine, no trans, no front clip. Looks like there's two of them. Getting both of them. 70 Firebird with parts car. Green one has the title. Missing front clips off both of them. Been posted for five days. 4500 bucks for both of them. Idaho. At least the one had interior. It'll be a 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D, 5 grand, 18 weeks ago, PA. Got some really nice aluminum trailer wheels. Silver paint look good, but man, it's all bubbled up. Got Bondo stuffed in it from years back. Looks pretty rusty. It's 5 grand. Man, I don't see 5 grand there. At all, but you're not gonna find a '69 Camaro for five grand for like that. So we just done that search, right? I mean, 1973 Pontiac Firebird Coupe won five thousand four hundred eighty dollars twenty nine weeks ago. So he's been dropping the price. That's why he's at a fifty four eighty. I like the wheels that are on it. This car looks great shape. Cleaned up. This could be a nice car. It's under six grand listed. Listing was removed due to traveling. We'll delete once it's sold. Don't ask if it's available. Solid frame. Needs floors. Comes with two engines. 350 and a 400. Muncie four-speed manual. Check this one out. This might be the first one that we can say. If you're looking for a 73, you can't get there fast enough. That looks like a great car. 29 weeks. So again, he said it was listed because he was on vacation or something. Check that one out. I like that one a lot. It's probably the best one we've seen so far. Classic 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe. 400 cubic inch with a four speed. $5,900. Right after I said we've seen the best car. Then we see one that's got like guide coat shot all over it. Like they've actually done some body work to it. Tell me. 69 for 5900 400 four speed. I don't like the trailer wheels. Inner fenders are missing. Most of the interior is missing. Gonna need a lot of parts for this thing. Portland, Oregon on that one. Give me a 1967 Pontiac Firebird Coupe. Six grand on the money, Florida. I like the 67s because of the wing windows. I always like wing windows and everything, though. It's got the console bucket seats. It's pretty rough. Back seat area is gone. Back bumper's garbage. It's a roller, no engine, no transmission. Six grand on the money. Didn't say how long that was on here. I believe I said it was Florida, right? I mean, 1969 Pontiac Firebird Formula Coupe. We're in Georgia this time for six grand. 
Some nice wheels on it, but they don't match. Does have the console, half a bucket seat. Six grand on the money. I'm guessing no motor, no transmission. Doesn't say nothing about a title. Georgia. 1967 Pontiac Firebird Convertible 2D, six grand, three weeks ago, Florida. Can't get there fast enough to check a look at this. Looking for a convertible? I would tell you that it looks good, but I can't even see it. All I see is just stuff piled everywhere. There's a windshield right here. There's one to check out. The moisture hasn't gotten to it sitting inside that barn. You might find a nice 67 buried in there. 1967 Pontiac Firebird, 6,500 listed a week ago. This one's going to be in South Carolina. like that blue paint, blue interior. Cool color combo. 6,500 bucks. Been on here for a week. Again, South Carolina. He mentions a title or not, but he's got a nice, big, huge print out there. If you want to read up some information on it, he's got a lot of it on there. Posted one week ago. I mean, 1969 Firebird, 6,500 bucks. This one's going to be in Maine. Doesn't say how long ago it was listed. Got those ET slots on it. This looks like a great car. I like the brown color, too. Buckets, console. Still got the engine in it. Says power doors, locks, power windows, power seats. Love all that. Some cool options car right here. 7,000 or best offer. Quarters definitely look rough. The body looks rough. Got a vinyl top on it. Massachusetts. I mean, 1968 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D. 6,800 on the money. It's been here 30 weeks. It's missing a lot of parts. I do like the tack on the hood. But no grill, no bumpers, no glass. Quarter skin's been cut off it. It does have Pontiac Rally wheels on it, which are pretty cool. It's got a nice long description on it. I want to read it out. There it is. It does say Clean Iowa Title in hand. And it was in South Dakota. In 1969, Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D, seven grand on the money. It's been here 23 weeks, Washington State. No engine in it, 69, I think we've seen nicer already. But Washington's your area. There's a lot of cool stuff to look at out there. Also have a 400 Pontiac engine for it. I think I've showed this car in the past now that we look at it. It's going to be a 1970 Firebird Sprint and seven grand, 16 weeks ago, California. This car looks great. It's all together. No holes in the floors. Looks like some solid sheet metal. California, been parked inside a building till now. Don't remember if the car runs. Price is negotiable. And it's a clean on-op title. California, looking for a nice body for a 70 Firebird. Found you one right there for seven grand. 1969 Pontiac Firebird, 7500 bucks in this one. So let's say 38 weeks ago, it's going to be in Florida. Still got the engine in it. Quarter skins again are cut off. No quarter skins put back on it yet. Interior's all ripped out. I don't see $7,500. Apparently, I'm not the only one. 38 weeks, this car's been listed, and he hasn't been able to sell it. There's a description if you want to read it out. I would pass. 1969 Pontiac Firebird, 7,500 bucks. Two weeks ago, Virginia. Got a rounding them up train going through. This should have been our pick today. Looking for a funny car? Found you a 69 Pontiac Firebird funny car, 7,500 bucks, which is a lot nicer than some of the other stuff we've been seeing for 7,500. I like the chrome rear end. This thing's pretty sick. It's got all the history on the car. You want to read it out? It was the Mr. Sinister. One of the world's fastest Pontiacs. Driven by Don and Roy Gray. Ground Pounder 2. It's a cool piece of racing history right there, right? Really dig this paint job. That's how I'd be painting it back. I dig it. 7500 bucks. 1968 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D, 7500 bucks. 14 weeks go California. Man, we're up there in the money. I'd rather have that funny car. Just saying. 14 weeks go and it's going to be in California. It's exactly how he bought it 10 years ago. That's a shame he wasn't able to touch it in 10 years. Those look like he's got some solid floors, doors, rockers. Man, it's a lot for a project. $7,500 for that one. 
1972 Pontiac Firebird. We're at eight grand. Listed a week ago, Arkansas. It's got a 404 speed in it, so I dig it. That picture right there looks like it's sit with no engine in it. And it says, I have a C10, the four speed trans with 400 block, cars rust three straight, body ready to build, eight grand. Got eight grand to build that 72 project you've been wanting to build. Does come with a 404 speed. You gotta dig that. It's gonna be a 1973 Pontiac Firebird, no trades, nine grand, California. Got that Ram Air hood on there, it's pretty cool. Aluminum radiator, air conditioning. I don't know, I don't see nine grand. It's a nice looking car. That's me, and who am I to tell you how much to spend on your 73 Firebird? It's been on here for only four weeks. 1968 Pontiac Firebird. We're at 9,500 now. Two days ago, and it's going to be in Florida. It's a pretty nice looking car. Got some craters, rotted out quarter lips. Nice spoiler on the back. Interiors all gutted out. 400. Sort of set in the air cleaner. 400 four barrel, right? Did I have time to restore it? It's gonna need them quarters again. It's got a 430 over. It's got a cam in it. Some headman headers. Flowmaster exhaust, turbo 400, stage two shift kit. 333 rear end. It's a cool car. Is it worth 9,500 bucks? Not to me. For sale, 1971 Pontiac Firebird Pro Touring Car Project, $9,975. Man, there ain't no way. This thing's sitting in pieces, parts. It's got some cool stuff, but man, that's not for me. It's got four link in it. Looking to build a pro tour car and start off at $9,975 invested? We got you. For the 71 Pontiac Firebird, it's in Arkansas. Got three more here before the pick of the day. 1969 Pontiac Firebird, we are 10 grand. Listed 19 weeks ago, California on this one. Pretty terrible photos. There's a couple better photos. Had two good ones in there. Does have some chrome steel trailer wheels on it. It's got some big fluffy interior. It's probably comfortable back in the day, right? Clean title, good for project. That's all you get for description. It's in California. Been on here for 19 weeks. Be 1969 Pontiac Firebird 400, 10 grand again, 10 weeks ago, Michigan. Man, this car could almost spend the pick of the day. I mean, imagine if that was a 69 Camaro, what the price sticker would be on that. And I like it. Some rusty floors, love them rally wheels, the spoiler, all the parts. It's the kind of car I like. It's a project. At least you got all the parts, you don't have to go look for stuff. Michigan, could have got the pick on that. 69 400 Firebird, barn fine, 10,000 or best offer. Will not respond to if it's available. 1968 Pontiac Firebird Sport, 10 grand, Texas, 20 weeks on this car. It's been on here. And Rally sure look good on there. Got the vinyl top, a little bit of rust underneath it. But again, the rallies look really good on these cars. Clean title on it. Translation, come and get it. I think that's what that was supposed to say. Ready for a project. So on to my pick of the day. These were two cool searches to start it off. Our Thanksgiving Day Marathon. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Restoration Project. $5,500. Five days ago, Florida got the pick on a Craigslist ad. Seen that right. Florida. $5,500 for the 69 Firebird. I like this one a lot. Read complete. Add no trades at all. Price is non negotiable. It's a factory V8 car. Built good running 400 in the car. Body's fair. Has new front fenders, hood, etc. Are good. Rear core panels have rust and photos. See photos. Trunk floor solid. Floor pans are, has rust. Interior is mostly there, but needs to be redone. Rear glass is missing this car that needs restorations. You're not driving at home. Needs to be trailered, clean, Florida title. Price is $5,500, not negotiable. So $5,500, bucks. that's my pick. There's a lot of good cars on here. Again, it always depends on where you're at, what year model you're making, you're looking for. Like always, appreciate every one of you. Big thumbs up is all we have to ask. I hope you all are having a great Thanksgiving day. 
we're going to try to be back with a couple more searches. So be sure to ring that little notification bell. Subscribe if something you're looking for. Drop it in the comments. We'll get to it. So thanks for tuning in. Until next time, be good, stay safe, peace out.